ever include a brow pomade in a project pan again? Never. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day five of the 12 collabs of Choimus. Woo! That is correct. In the month of December, I am posting 12 collab videos with 12 incredible women in the beauty sphere. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out on those. Today I am posting at last my finale to my Project Pan 20 and 2020. So in this year of our Lord and Savior 2020, I have been trying to use up these products. Obviously things got derailed in the middle of the year. It didn't exactly go according to plan, but I still am very proud of all the progress I made. Before I get into the updates and the finale, I want to introduce Natasha to y'all. Her channel name is Too Much Tash and she does a ton of project panning content. She counts how many uses it takes her to hit pan on different things. She does get ready with me, shop my stashes. And so if you're into that kind of content, I know you will enjoy Natasha. If you go over to Tasha's channel from here, let her know that I sent you. And if you are here from Natasha's channel, let me know in the comments too, because I would love to say hello. So I know in this video, I'm doing my finale to my Project Pan 20 and 2020, but on Natasha's channel, she's actually gonna be sharing her finale of her year long Partners in Cream Project Pan. Now I didn't do a specific cream project pan this year, just because in my normal 20 and 2020 project pan, I included a lot of cream products because I wanted to move through those uh, before the year ended. Now let's get into the products. I will link my project panning um, playlist in the description box below. By the way, I was re-watching my intro project pan video and my, my skin was really like my skin is kind of bad now but it was very bad in that video i was kind of shocked so it's been nice to see some improvement in that aspect but let's get into these products <laughs> i hit my goal of 16 out of the 20 items so i mean obviously it's not 20 out of 20 100 but i am very happy with that it means that i got significant or complete use out of 16 makeup products so I'm going to actually go through this in the order of putting on a face. So let's start with the primers. First I have this mini of the Smashbox Primerizer in the half an ounce size. I finished this by my first update, which was three months into the year. I only updated twice <laughs> in this entire year, so that shows you what kind of dedicated panner I am, but I um, finished this within the first three months. It took 10 uses and I used up 0 0.07 ounces of product to finish it off. This year I weighed things in ounces. It was my first project pan. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I'm just proud that I measured weight at all, but in the coming years I will measure in grams instead of ounces, so that way I can see a little bit more of a precise uh, difference in the products. So first primer, Smashbox Primerizer. Ooh. Second is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Base. And I finished this by my second update, which was in September. So I think it was April and September where my two project pan updates and now in December. So this was old. I got this in a, a FabFitFun like 2018. Yeah, so this needed to go. I used this 24 times, used up 0.21 ounces of product, and yeah, that's that's it for that one. Those are my two primers. Now I have four foundation products. First, I'm gonna hold up the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. This I rolled out at the first update in April, I'm gonna say, so that's just because this was also very old. Early 2018, I think, is when I got this, and I used the applicator like on my face, so I just wasn't really comfortable using this anymore. I feel like it was breaking me out, so I rolled this out after I used it 27 times. And you can see I was pretty, I mean, I made good, I wasn't close to finishing it, but I am happy with how much use I got out of it. You can see. Oh, and in those 27 uses, I used up 0.22 ounces of product. Next, I have this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Gel Cream. This is the mini version. Oh my God. So 
So that just yeeted out of my hand, but this is the mini version 0.68 fluid ounces. I used this 13 times to finish it. I was already pretty close to finishing it. And uh, that weight difference was 0.21 ounces. This is in the shade 03 buttercream. I do already have um, a full size of this back up in the shade 5.5 bamboo, which is like a light, medium, warm shade. So I really do enjoy this product. I've repurchased it and I will continue to use my new bottle. Third foundation product is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This product, okay, well, I love this product. I really do enjoy it, but it took me so long to use. Oh, I was almost exclusively using this for most of the year. I'm, I'm ready to move on to another foundation, just use other foundations that I maybe enjoy more now. So this is a new update, a new empty, like as of this update, and I use this 80, two times oh lordy lord just took 82 times for me to finish off and it was most it was like three quarters full when i started well maybe two thirds full but anyways 82 uses a weight difference of 0.74 ounces <sighs> It's finally done. Now, I will I repurchase this? I actually, when I was purchasing this, I was just really, really, really into this product and I purchased also a little mini of it. So I do have this one to use still. So I'm not repurchasing it because I already have repurchased it. It is still what I'm wearing on my skin today. I really enjoy this product. Um, sometimes I just wanna use something else though. Because I phased out the Healthy Foundation and I phased in the It Cosmetics CC Cream, I have showed you four products that I have completed and hit my goal on. My last foundation product is one that I did not hit my goal on and I'm okay with that. It is a powder foundation, so I was ambitious. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundation in the shade Warm Light 07, but I use this a lot. Look at the progress on that. Can you see that dip? And it has some weird texture stuff going on. I think it's about time for me to throw this away now. I also purchased this from either a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. So it may have still, it may have already been a little bit old when I got it, but I used this 45 times and in total I used 0 0.07 ounces of product. Not a big number, but A, I used it, I'm happy with it. My uses for this were either as full powder foundation, but more frequently as just a setting powder. So it's gonna be real difficult to use up a pressed powder setting powder. <laughs> also, now I favor more of like just a translucent matte setting powder over a very tinted one like this. So this is going to <laughs> finally be disposed of. Next onto my concealer, which I panned at the second update by September, and it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This is so old, it's in the old packaging with the way that this is printed, and it took 42 uses for me to finish this with a weight difference of 0.11 ounces. I thought I would repurchase this immediately once I finished it, but now I just realized I don't need to have more than like four concealers. I don't even need four concealers, but that's how many I have right now. So I have not repurchased this. I am trying to focus on what I have. Well, I actually have purchased a drugstore concealer to replace this. Um, it's the Milani Conceal and Fer Perfect Concealer. I haven't used it yet. Um, so anyways, because I just bought that, I'm not gonna get this one again. For setting spray, I did not hit the goal on this one. Shame, but it's okay because I am so close, so close to hitting goal. So I'm just gonna keep on using this for a little bit and I really enjoy when I use it. So this is the MAC Fix Plus uh, Mini Spray in the lavender scent. And this is the one fluid ounce size. Now I started off the year up here and now I am down here. I need to spray it like once or twice before it gets, you know, like uniformly misty for me to use on my space. Otherwise it kind of sputters out at me, but I will be using this up very easily <laughs> in 2021. Maybe I'll throw this into my 2021 project pan just to be like an easy gimme item. We all need those. Oh, I didn't say the uses. I used this 38 times and used up 0.74 ounces of products. 
bronzer. This one I hit pan on very quickly by the first update. And since then, um, some of the product on the side has crumbled and fallen out of the pan. But this is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I depotted it and put it in my magnetic palette. I use this 25 times and the weight difference is 0.07 ounces. I'm gonna keep on using this. I used it today, I really enjoy it. It's a nice product, good satin finish, um, works well. <laughs> ah! Okay, I just dropped that and a little bit more of it crumbled out. So now it's missing a little chunk right there. Let me place it safely inside my palette. For blush, I have two. I'm very excited about these. That was kind of screechy, sorry. Firstly, let me give you the new update. I can't even, this took so long. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint. I completely finished in the shade Dusk. Now this was my very first cream blush. So probably 2018 is when I purchased this. Woo, you know I use this a lot. If y'all have a, a Glossier Cloud Paint, y'all know how hard or how little product you need of this on just one application. So I used this 31 times to complete it and used up 0.14 ounces of product. When I started the project, I was already over halfway done with this. So I just continued to just pedal on through the year with this. Second blush is one I got in an Ipsy. It's from Basic Beauty and it was this kind of jelly blush in the shade, it's October 3rd. Now I have significant pan in this. I hit pan on this very easily by the first update, but now um, it looks like this and I've used it 17 times. It doesn't show any change in weight though, at least in ounces. This is nasty, it's going in the trash. Finally getting to throw this away now that I'm filming my project pan update or finale. Woo, 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 highlighter. So I have one highlighter, also so ready to throw this away. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Lunch Money, which is a very like subtle kind of highlighter. I am just hot. I've been using this all year and I'm really tired of it. And I think that it has lived its good life. I used this 33 times, used up 0.07 ounces of product, and it is here. Do I still like this product? Yes. Could I keep it in my collection? Actually, I'll think about it, whether I wanna keep this. It's just kind of old now, it's a little dried out, and I have other subtle highlighter formulas that I really enjoy, like this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I don't really like need this, need this anymore. And now that I've used this like all year, pretty uh, dedicatedly, I don't know how much I will want to reach for it in the future. I also have the Super Shock in Flexitarian. That one is very icy. I don't use it a lot. Maybe I should include that in my 2021 project pan. Now moving on to eye products. Firstly, I have an eyeshadow primer. I finished, granted it's a mini, but I still finished it. It's an accomplishment. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion Mini. It took 25 uses for me to finish this from about halfway full, and that translates to 0.03 ounces of product. This is a new update. I just finished this like this week. Woo! Next, I have two more ColourPop Super Shock products. These dry out quickly, so I wanted to use them. These, I think I will throw out. I'm definitely gonna throw out Moonwalk. This is like a duochrome, like yellowish green with a red base. It's pretty much identical to the powder shadow in Tea Garden, just in Super Shock formula. I'm not repurchasing this because I have Tea Garden in the pressed powder formula, um, but this was very enjoyable while it lasted. It's very dry now, so I think it's time for it to retire. This one I hit pan on very quickly because I started off the year with a lot of use. It only took me seven uses to hit pan in this, which doesn't translate to any change in weight. Next super shock I have is Weenie, which is the most gorgeous rose gold color. I am not wearing it on my lids today, but Man, this one's still soft. I'm gonna keep this one. I really enjoy this shade. Here is what Weenie looks like. Wow, so pretty. Let me know if you have a good dupe to this because I don't think they make this shade anymore. It was one they made in collaboration with Kathleen Lights like a long time ago, like Dream Street era. That's the amount of pan I have in it. I use this 15 times, which translates to 0.04 ounces of product I used up. 
Those are all of my eye products. I have a separate Pandas eyeshadows project that I was doing this year it's for like pressed powder palette eyeshadows. So stay tuned for that update later this month too. Moving on to brows. I included a difficult brow product because at the beginning of the year, I said, I don't want to include a brow pencil because those are too easy to use up. So I included a pomade. It killed me, but I hit my goal, which was just to hit the bottom of it. Now this is the Benefit Cabrow Gel Cream. I only included the mini, thank God. And this is in the shade four. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Yes, you can. Look at that little, look at that little ring of light in the center. I hit pan on this. Took 58 uses and that translates to 0 0.03 ounces of product. Will I ever include a brow pomade in a project pan? Again, never. Lastly, for lip products, here are some more that I didn't hit my goal on. Let's start with the one I did, and this is a new one, which is exciting. So I have the L'Oreal Color Rich Shine Lipstick in the shade Glossy Fawn. So completely used up. I'm gonna roll this one all the way up and it's at the point where the plastic is like kind of scratching my lips, so that's when I call it quits with this shade. I love this lipstick, it's so nice. Um, I'm gonna hold off on repurchasing it now though, just because, especially nowadays, we don't need a lot of lip products. But this took me 34 uses to complete, and I started it at yay high. This first tally is where it started at the beginning of the year, and now it is complete. 0.07 ounces of product is how much I used up to finish her off. Now for the two products I didn't complete. First is this Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow, the original shade, and I used this 50 times, and I there's a ton of product at the bottom. I just need to get in there with like a Q-tip or something because I literally cannot reach it. That is the furthest down I can go. So yeah, I mean, this technically isn't finished, but it's not finished because I was too lazy to go in and um, scrape out the bottom. And so I wasn't reaching for this because I couldn't get any more product out. So that's kind of on me why that's not finished, <laughs> but it's okay, it happens. So 50 uses and that's 0 0.07 ounces of product that I used. Oh, I did completely take out the stopper already though. So um, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. <laughs> Last lipstick is a bullet lipstick. This is the ColourPop Blur Luxe lipstick in the shade CA Love, which is a gorgeous like brownie nude shade, my favorite kind. And um, this one I used 27 times. I was more focused on using um, this lip product, which is why this one didn't get quite as much love, but I still made good progress on it. So when I started out, the lipstick was this tall at this mark, and at the final update, it's yay tall. So I'm still, I'm still proud of how much progress I made with that. I used it 27 times, which is equivalent to 0 0.04 ounces of the lipstick I used up. Now, last product, because we're at the end of the face, <laughs> is actually not a makeup product. I finished on the makeup. Well, I finished telling y'all about all the makeup. The last product was a body lotion because I'm so bad about putting on body lotion. So it was just this Aos Evolution of Smooth Vanilla Orchid body lotion. I used this 39 times to finish it up and that was 6.42 ounces of product. Now the 39 times, um, the amount of each of those has a huge range of like what it could have been. Sometimes it was just enough to put on my elbows. Sometimes it was my whole body. I'm not the best at putting on body lotion. I think I just don't like laying on my bed or touching things after I put on lotion. So some days I couldn't be bothered more than just my elbows and my knees, but I still consider those days a victory because I put on something. And those are my Project Pan updates. Well, not just updates, that's my Project Pan finale. What? Finally done. This year did not go as expected. Remember when we like were gonna use up so much makeup in 2020 and then um, we just started wearing a lot less makeup. <laughs> but as I said, I'm still very proud of the use I got out of these things that I purchased. I purchased them, I better get my money's worth out of them. So um, even though this was just a little miserable, just a little bit of pressure to have 
assigned products to use up in a year, I think I do want to do it again for 2021. It's a little discouraging like every month to see how little I have done, but at the end of the year, I hit my goal on 16 of these items. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out on my 2021 journey using up my makeup. And I also like to space out my updates by months. <laughs> so that way there are actually exciting updates at each one. Be sure to check out Natasha's channel and her video. I know you will love her, especially if you like Project Pan, Shop My Stash kind of content. Oh, she's just a lovely person and a lovely human being. Tell me how you think I did. Tell me I did a good job this year, even though it was a struggle for me. I'm not a good panner. Um, I like to use everything I own, which is why it kind of hurts my heart to use just assigned items because when you think about it like as long as you're using something you're still getting your money's worth out of the makeup so i have a little bit of like a quandary with that a philosophical quandary with project panning because does it really change how much use you get out of your items but um it does at least show you visually that you used items that you use them up because when you use one thing repeatedly you can see progress easier anyways Little Matt, little rant, a little bit of thinking out loud, but let me finish off this video before I get too talkative. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on your notification bell if it's not already on. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. If you're wondering where my earrings are from, they are from this little Etsy shop called Zephaniah Designs. She makes polymer clay jewelry, but also incorporates some gold pieces like this. And I really like the look of Monstera leaves, obviously. <laughs> so check her out if you have the time or interest.